Welcome back to Odyssey News. I am Mike Odyssey. And guys, do we have stories for you today in the world of Nintendo? They are exciting. They are amazing. They are next gen. Yes, today we're going to talk about Super Nintendo World and an amazing uh, update we just heard about and a story about the next gen console and a service that will be just going there that just makes me excited and i know it will make you excited as well i hope it does let's go ahead and start this action pack episode of odyssey news my day point welcome to the odyssey hit the like press play you're running with the squad like zeno play drive like mario we on it and mark your calendars because this saturday february 25th is our 20k subscriber milestone giveaway we'll be here live presenting and having fun in our mario kart tournament and and i am happy to announce that we are on our way to 30k in which we will also be giving away a splatoon or a pokemon edition nintendo switch oled here on the channel so all you gotta do is subscribe turn down that bell notification to enter all right so it's time for rapid fire news right away ubisoft says it will be attending e3 2023 if it actually happens and this was followed by e3 uh submitting a statement saying that yes we are happening so i guess e3 will be the only company there so there you have that we have a new game coming to nintendo switch online game trial and this game is katamari the ma the, the macy the Masi. so katamari the marcy reroll is coming to nintendo online for a game trial this means that if you have nintendo online membership that you can actually download this game for free for seven days and play the entire game i'm pretty sure that in seven days you can actually pass this game completely so if you have nintendo online you can go ahead and download that right now move on to the next news super mario brothers the movie we have a runtime for this movie and it looks like it's going to be 92 minutes an hour and uh 32 minutes yes an hour and 32 minutes for the super mario movie it looks like a pretty good runtime for this type of movie so there you have that another news octopath traveler 2 reviews are in and it is now sitting at an 84 at metacritic which is i think it's uh okay not that great but uh it's fine i guess all right so let's move on to today's main stories all right so first of all nintendo super nintendo world we just found out that there could be another game joining super nintendo world and guys this is an, uh, an amazing and exciting story because this has to do with splatoon can you imagine splatoon at super nintendo world i mean imagine imagine being in a stadium and then giving you know being handed some type of splat uh gun or whatever and then just splatting each other with, with paint right this could either be some type of uh paint gun thing going on like a live splatoon war or it could be one of those um rides that you sit in and you shoot other kind of splatoon characters around there but this is a good thing this is confirmed by miyamoto when he was asked whether super mario or super nintendo world would be mario focused and they said they wanted to focus on mario at the beginning but then they want to expand like we know that donkey kong is under construction so yeah they will have their that completely different world from the mario land they have right now then splatoon 3 is the next park they are building this is super cool super awesome and are you excited to actually visit splatoon in real life let's move on to the last piece of news for today and guys this news right here this drove me crazy i i i am um, i am over the moon over excited for this news because this has to do with nintendo's next gen console and a confirmation we finally have a confirmation yes it came out as an accident but it is a confirmation let's go ahead and read here cma suggests nintendo switch online game service will be on the switch successor meaning you know how nintendo went with the virtual console for the wii u we have nintendo switch online a lot of people out there have been stating no nintendo switch online will stay there because it's called nintendo switch online and then they will get rid of it completely start over again in the next gen console and bring us something new but no it does not look like that's the case 
for the next gen console yes we will have nintendo switch online or nintendo online whatever they re rename it maybe they'll rename it to the next gen console what if the next gen console is called the nintendo future it's called nintendo future online right so let's go ahead and read here in the uk commission of markets and authority has been investigating activision blizzard xbox deal and therefore have gone through numerous uh, documentations about the competition such as sony and nintendo the competition and Marcus Authority may have inadvertently revealed that Nintendo Switch Online game service, which includes Super Mario 60, Super Nintendo 64, Game Boy, game Boy Advance, and uh, other consoles, will be on Nintendo's next gen system, leaving the impression that the virtual console service won't be coming back anytime soon. This could mean that the only way to access retro games will be through Nintendo's uh, next successor online service. Like the, for example, if yeah, if they decide to call it Nintendo something online or Nintendo future, like the next console is Nintendo future, then they'll probably call it Nintendo future online. But that the main service, that Nintendo online service, for all these retro consoles will move forward. They will continue with the next generation console. Guys, you know what that means? That means that Nintendo will, will eventually add more consoles to this platform, right? Let's say by the end of the life of the next gen console, we would have had already all the NES, uh, SNES, Super Nintendo uh, 64, GameCube, uh, Nintendo Wii and a lot more on Nintendo Online and this is exciting news because there was that uncertainty that we might have to start all over again like what Nintendo did with Nintendo Switch Online or you know, from from the uh, virtual console which by the way is never coming back unfortunately uh, Nintendo Online service will be the only way you'll have access to these retro games and it, it, it looks like they kind of kind of confirmed it here uh, by mistake because they did this investigation for for uh, the Activision Blizzard uh, deal. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. How do you feel about Nintendo Online, okay? Moving forward to the next-gen console just as it is now with Nintendo Switch Online, but maybe with the possibility of adding more consoles and more games to the platform, right? I mean, at least that's how i felt i think nintendo was is building this library and adding all these games and these consoles and i don't think they're gonna get rid of it just because right it's it's so much work and so much progress and i feel like we're just gonna get better and better with nintendo online in the next uh future platform all right guys that is it for this edition of odyssey news let me know what you guys think down below in the comments but before i let you go i got two more important things i want to let you know number one Never ever give up. And number two, journey on. Peace. We're on a journey. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted. But feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now.